Arizona and San Francisco. We're going to close it out here. Zach Davies going for Arizona. And Carlos Rodon for the Giants. And Rodon's been very good for the Giants as of late. 210 is the number here. Total is 7.5, 115 towards the under tonight there in uh, San Francisco. Base winner, I know you like this game. You're going to hook it up as part of your parlay, so talk to us about it. Yeah, I think this is a gift, TC. I got it priced at minus 255, so we're showing value on the, on the base winner uh, money line based on my projection. And it's a situation where the starting pitching, there's just a vast disparity here. I've got uh, Rodon 21st out of 150 pitchers. He's 21% better from a run suppression standpoint. And then Davies, I've got... 136 out of 150. He's 31 percent worse than a, from a run suppression standpoint. And a bullpen, you know, I've got this uh, this Diamondback bullpen. The way I rate the bullpens, it's 29th in baseball. The Giants about mid middle of the pack. They're 15 exactly in the middle there. And then I think we get an advantage offensively. But one of the things that was really interesting about this was uh, the BBK numbers. And I'll just start with the uh, the overall BBK numbers. The the disparity between Rodone, who's at a .23 walks divided by strikeouts, super low, 28th in baseball. And then you look at Davies, is at .47, 160th in baseball. But kind of getting drilling down a little bit deeper into this, you look at Davies on the road, his median BBK is really high, 0.66. And I think that's really alarming for anybody that would, would venture a bet on on Arizona. It's great for us and as far as our handicap goes. But one of the other things about Davies is you see some, sometimes these guys that eh, maybe they have some control issues, but they really can suppress power. Well, his ISO power uh, on the road, and this looks over about eh, probably about 25 starts, is 22% worse than an average pitcher. And I, I, I can compile that via the log cutter. So I think there's a lot of things to like about betting the Giants here. Again, TC, I think it's a gift. I'm going to put it in a parlay with, with, with Cleveland. Plus, plus 118 will be the return on that. You know, I looked at this game, Mark, and I looked at the Giants just like you, and I said, you know, Rodon has been solid his last three starts, 30 strikeouts, only two walks. Uh, you look at his last four starts, you know, uh, he gave up some runs, but ha still had the strikeouts there uh, and just got he was victimized by by a couple home runs. But here's what got me off of this game. Does the last two starts against Arizona have been dreadful? And I don't know why the, the, the Diamondbacks hit this guy, but they do. Gave up nine earned runs in his last two starts. He gave up five last time out, gave up the two homers time before that he gave up f four runs. So just something tells me that, okay, they, they see the ball coming out of his hand pretty well. I'm usually a guy, like, if it's one start, okay, you're going to get revenge. You're going to bounce back. Giants are playing better. They got the better lineup. I'm with you with all that. But that's the only reason that I, that I paused on that. That was it. Uh, Jeff, some thoughts on the game? Yeah, you know, I, I'm so close on this one. I, I, strikeout total seven and a half for Redone. You look at in two starts, as you talked about against Arizona, while he did give up runs, you look at the strikeout numbers, double digits in one, seven in another, 17 strikeouts over two starts. You know, Arizona doesn't strike out a ton. The number is seven and a half on, on Rodone. I got a weird feeling it's like he gets seven. And he hasn't been going too deep, really. It's always about pitch count with strikeouts. Uh, that's really the whole thing. I, I might have a little play on that tonight if, if we can get one on Bet US. We'll see. Um, I, I think it's probably a good spot, though. Arizona just kind of always seems to do enough but never finds a way to win. I, I don't love San Francisco, but Rodone is just so good. Uh, and... Uh, you know, generally he's going to be really solid. So, yeah, I don't think it's a bad play for Vermont. All right. We're going to put base winner down with the Giants. And uh, he's got a two-team parlay with him. this one. Looks pretty good with a couple $2 favorites in uh, Cleveland uh, to San Francisco. Correct? That's the parlay we're looking at? Yeah, let's runner? get a winner tonight. Come on, guys. Let's, let's crush him. Let's crush him. Let's do it. All right. We're, we're playing some good teams tonight. We'll say that. Now we're we're laying a little bit of you know a little juice, except with with the Mets because they are on the road against a red hot Atlanta team. But for the most part, again, you're going to get into this, and we've talked about this before. The the heavy favorites are covering. You know, good teams you're going to have to lay, especially in August. We understand that, but that's a risk that we got to take. But I'd rather do that than and go down and fighting and swinging with. I with, feel with good about betting good against Dan, Daniel Norris. He looks kind of like Chuck Norris too, and it reminds me of that uh, body shape. Remember, watch that. Uh, 
commercial uh, infomercial on late night TV, the Chuck Norris body shaper. Every yeah. time I look at Daniel Norris, I can't help but think about that Chuck Norris body shaper. I've almost bought it a couple of times. It's a great infomercial, actually, uh, but I never have. But then you got, Nor you got Norris and then you've got uh, going up against Zach Davies. That's uh, that's a good I think that's a good recipe to get well, TC. Just do us a favor, Mark, and uh, do not unbutton that shirt and, 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 and do the show with your shirt off. In, in memory no, of uh, no, Chuck Norris. Ne never would, but uh, that's a good commercial. I got to give Chuck Norris credit for, for the quality <laughs> of that infomercial. Uh.